Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. On Windows 11 and Windows 10, there is a feature called the Event Viewer. And basically what the Event Viewer does, also known as the Event Log, is it tracks basically everything that happens on your PC, and that includes reasons why your computer was shutting down and why your computer was restarting. So um, this can be very handy as an example if you are trying to find out why your computer is maybe unexpectedly shutting down and if that issue needs attention so you can deal with it accordingly and that's where the event viewer with the event logs can come in very handy so in this video we're going to have a look as to how you can use the event viewer and um, to basically um, tell you and find out the reasons why your computer is shutting down and restarting on windows 10 and windows 11. Now to get and navigate to the event viewer, um, the easiest would be just to hit your search on both operating systems, enter event viewer into the search, hit enter, or just click on the relevant entry. And this opens up the legacy event viewer in the operating system. Now the first thing we need to do is navigate to the left hand menu and click on and expand Windows logs and then click on the system entry. And this will generate the system logs uh, for the operating system. And if this is the first time you are doing this, generating system logs, this could take a good couple of seconds to generate the logs. So just take note of that. And then once those system logs are generated, we need to head back to the left-hand menu and right-click now on the system entry and click on filter current log. And this will open up the menu. And yeah, in the filter current log menu, we need to head to the all event ID text box and enter a couple of event ID numbers into the text box and there's approximately five we're going to enter and these will help us decipher and give us reasons why our computer was shutting down and restarting as mentioned at the beginning of this video. So um, after each ID you enter into the actual text box you need to enter a comma. So the first one is 41 comma then it's the next is 1074 comma and the next id is 6006 comma the next is 6005 comma and then the last one is 6008 comma and these are some of the most common event ids when it comes to system shutdowns and restarts and then once you've entered those five ids into the text box click on ok and yeah you'll see it will now generate um, all the different um, event logs and ID numbers, event IDs here we can see on the right hand side pertaining to shutting down and restarting. Now, as in my case, everything looks okay. I'm not seeing any e uh, event IDs that are actually causing errors, so that's a good sign. And uh, um, just to show you that if you click on any uh, event ID and event log, you can actually see a full description down below and it will actually give you the date and the time when um, that restart or that shutdown took place so that's some handy information and then just to go through some of these quickly um 6005 that means this event was logged when the event log system started so that's a um, a normal event so that's all okay then the next one here another one is 6006 this event is logged when the event log system has been stopped so that's just another normal um uh, event for the log actually starting and stopping and then if we go to 1074 this event is triggered when the user initiates a manual shutdown or restart which is very common in my case and as mentioned you can actually see that date and time when you shut down your computer and let me go to another one um what other one haven't we mentioned here I think that's the three main ones, if everything is okay. Then the two you're looking for where there are issues is event ID 41, which um, will indicate that the device did not restart correctly using a clean shutdown first. So that's a good indication that your computer is restarting. And another uh, event ID um, that you are looking for if there are issues is 6008, which indicates that the previous system shutdown was unexpected. So event ID 41 and event ID 6008. If you see any of those um, yet to the right in your event ID log of those all those logs, then those are the two where your system uh, could be, be having issues. And then if you do locate any of those, you just click on the actual event log and you can see the, the uh, general details and description down below. And as mentioned, it will actually give you the date and time. So that can just help you resolve issues um, as an example, if your computer was shutting down unexpectedly and then you can try 
and fix the issue accordingly. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.